Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the impromptu card trick you will have seen yesterday. Uh, just a quick one. I'm going to give a few special mentions, few shout outs to people. So the first one's going to, this is probably the wrong pronunciation, but I'm going to go for Jero Magic, Gyro Magic. There will be a link in description to his channel guys, go and check him out. He hasn't got many subscribers, but he does do a lot of proper like street magic yeah so go and check out gyro magic wow worth your time guys to so go and check him out and how does this trick work i did show this before on my original channel and i might have even showed it before on my gaffs and gimmicks channel yes gaffers had a few channels it is completely impromptu from a borrowed deck if need be oh what was going on there oh i know what's going on there gaffer why isn't that working? There is a double backer. This is two cards stuck together. This has nothing to do with this trick. It just happens to be in there. I was wondering why that wasn't shuffling very well. When it's a stuck together double backer, they're never as good as the originals, but you don't get any gaff or gimmick cards in bridge size. So that's why I have to stick a card together. Right, all you need to be able to do is control a card and then get a pinky pull down on the bottom card. Very simple trick. So spectators going to pick any card. Let's say they have the two of hearts. You'll place it into the deck and you are going to control this card however you like to the bottom. That was just a simple double undercut, which was placing a card in the center. You can see it's in the center. But when you push it in, you're going to push in and push up. Grab a break like this, so the chosen card is right here. You're then going to take a portion of cards off the bottom, put them on the top, another portion at that break. And you have put their card on the bottom. So their card is a three of spades. You're going to go through your process of getting them to pull out the three of spades with their imagination and placing it aside for a minute. Once they've done that, you're going to show them that they have actually done it. And what you're going to do, you're going to pick up a good portion of cards. It doesn't have to be half the deck, but as long as it's a good portion of cards, flip these face up and now you're going to say, look, I'm going to show you these cards. I want you to shout out when you see your card. So you're going to go through, you know, they won't see their card. And I'm going to go quite through nice and slow so they can have a good look at every card. So you'll go through, have you seen your card yet? Obviously they won't see their card. Is your card in this packet? They'll say no while you're showing them it, or saying is this card in your packet? Is this, is, Jesus, is your card in this packet? Under the cover of this packet, you can get a pinky pull down on that bottom card. They'll say no and all you're gonna do is make a good old pinky pull down and push all these cards under. So they're going under the bottom card square everything up and then just do it again take a smaller portion flip it over is your cards any of these no you're going to do the same process no pinky pull down just put these on the bottom looking like the the way you did it the first time push them all in you could even spread now don't be um thinking you might flash the card because their card is going to be right down the bottom here somewhere so when you're at this point, you can say, right, we're just going to find, right, is your card any of these? And you can show them all these cards. Just remembering roughly where to stop. You haven't seen your card yet, so maybe you did pull your card out with your imagination. If you can just take your imagination and push it back in for me. Then you need to make a point that at the beginning, when they pulled the card out, the pack was face down. They've pushed their card in face up. And you can prove it, because if you now spread... There will be one card somewhere in the middle and it will be there. Three of spades. So that's it, guys. It's super simple. The only thing I would say is um, get their card to the bottom. You could even give it another fake cut and a shuffle if you want. Keep it on the bottom. But when you do the first portion of cards get a good amount so it does seem like their card is in the middle at the end if you only take a small amount of cards their card is going to be this close to the bottom of the deck which isn't good so make sure you take a good portion of cards 
show these cards is your card any of these now get a massive pinky pull down so you can push these cards under see then they're looking like this they're not going to see anything just make sure the next lot when you do it it all looks the same and the final lot is your card any of these no that's because your card is the only card face down in a face up deck so that's how I did it guys, super simple, no gaffs, no gimmicks, oh my god, no gaffs and gimmicks, what's going on? Leave that filter till tomorrow. So like I say, check out Gyro Magic, link in description, you will not be disappointed. Thank you for all your continued support guys, and don't forget the giveaway. Comment, subscribe, like for more reveals. Cheers.